who did this. So uh, most people who are murdered know who their murderer is. So it's a good question to ask if you get that opportunity. So I'm trying to ask him what happened, you know, who shot you? And he's just kind of really ignoring me. He's just looking past me and he's looking at Suge Knight who's yelling at him. So, uh, you know, and he's kind of squirming. He's trying to, he's trying to look over and all, you know, this goes on for, I, it's hard to put a time on this type of thing. I don't know, 10, 20 seconds maybe. And all of a sudden, just in the snap of the fingers, he changed and he went to silent and still. Just like, it, it kind of reminded me if you see like a marathon runner, they're trying, they're trying, they're trying, and all of a sudden something, bam, they hit the wall and they're like, nope, can't do it, can't move. And he had just kind of crossed over into that, I give up trying to yell. So he, so he goes, he, he's still conscious, still looking at me, he's still breathing. And uh, so I looked at him, and now he's looking in my eyes, and for the first time he's paying attention to me, which he hadn't been doing. So I looked at him, and I go, who shot you? Who, who did this? And he started uh, get, sucking in air like to get a breath together, and he's looking at me, and I'm like, he's actually going to tell me something. So uh, he's getting his breath together, and I looked at him, and he kind of pulled his head back and looked at me, and he, he, said, he said, F you. I cleaned it up a little bit there for you for the TV, but uh, uh, yeah, said F you. And as soon as he said it, uh, he started coughing, blood's coming out of his mouth and nose, his eyes roll back, and he slipped into unconsciousness. So as it turns out, that would be the last thing he ever said in his life. So uh, so a couple minutes, within a couple minutes, ambulance gets there, and he's uh, immediately uh, intubated.